Is it your company's aim to become more focused on customer experience? If yes, expert Jeff Bean has some fantastic tips to get you started. If you're a company that's traditionally been service focused or product focused or price focused or, or marketing where it's, you know, don't worry, we'll fix it with marketing or fix it with service or your, you know, really your, you, you know, your unique capability is in, uh, you know, pricing or products. Anyway, very traditional. Uh, but you want to kind of transition into becoming an experience maker, the first thing you, you have to do is start at the top. Um, the, the great customer experience companies, whether they're small or large, um, th the culture is one of being incredibly customer experience oriented. And so what that means is that first, the first thing you have to do is decide, well, what is customer experience for your company? It isn't as simple as we're going to take our customer service people and now, you, you know, if you're the vice president of customer service, now we're going to call you the vice president of customer experience. Um, there's a lot of new to title people out there, but now what they have to do is they have to find out, well, what is customer experience? So how does my company want to define it? And how uh, does that impact the organization? And do we need to change the organization at all? And go outside, you know, on the demand side and find out, well, what what kind of customer experiences are our present customers and future customers having that they like now, okay? And I highly recommend understanding it at what's called the persona level, really understanding people at a much more granular level than here's our customer profile or here's a segment. It's, well, let's get an understanding of the whole person, whether they're on the job or off the job, whether it's B2B, B2C, you know, whatever. But um, in each part of the customer experience, okay, let's say w what are your customers or would-be customers favorite experiences in messaging or on the internet or what are your favorite products or favorite services. And, and, and so it's getting to really know what they like and love and then saying, well, what can we learn from that?